guys and welcome back to the high seat and happy hour channel please get subscribed if you are not subscribed um today i am or we are not well not i guess this is not the first day but we are redoing layla's run for christmas and today her bed is getting put together by an expert assemblist but i apologize i got a little overzealous um, when I came in to clean her room and I didn't know I was going to do a clean and reorganize in one swoop So I did not get any before pictures or videos But I'll try to find a video of her in her room to throw in here to show you all or give you an idea of what it looked like before the renovation, but today her bed is being put together I'll show you a little bit of what her room looks right like right now before it's completely finished um, and before the bed is put together so let's look Okay, walking into Lilith's room. She has a bunch of cute signage made by her on her door. This is her closet, which obviously needs to be reorganized. You see she has her hat cubby, purse cubby, um, accessory cubby. But back here was a craft table, which you see those chairs that have paints on them. Um, I'm gonna turn that into a vanity space. So mirror, I got her vanity chair, all of her accessories on her desk. Um, some of this stuff will go underneath her loft bed, which are her, her toys, her Barbie accessories, her American Girl accessories and such. And then just organize this space. Good morning, princess. Good morning. <laughs> and then you just had to, okay. This was a part of her old bed. She had a bunk bed before. So we're gonna keep this stair because the stair on the new loft is kind of thin. So we're gonna keep this to attach that to the new loft. Everybody just wants to be in here now, huh? Hey, Rosie, what's your butt? What's your butt? So, bedroom. Keep, babe. I'm literally trying to do something, baby. You're in here making a mess. Her loft bed will go against that wall, and she'll have space in between, you know, her TV, and just to have space to move around, have some stuff. This is her toy cubby, which we have organized. Um, which Layla organized and put it by, you know, dolls, clothing, balls, different stuff. But that will stay the same over there. So that's what we have so far. The goal here in reorganizing her room was to give her more space, more versatility in how she uses her room. Because um, before she had her, like big bed and it just took up all of the space. You know, you didn't really have space to kind of really move around and enjoy it. So this is really alleviating some space underneath her loft bed so she can come down have a different space to chill out in um and then as far as her closet of course organization right because it's a mess right now right come on don't make you look crazy organization but also a focus on enjoying getting dressed and that's what i want to do in her her closet also with mine i'll do my second because the princess comes first but you know, enjoying getting dressed, having a dedicated vanity space to get ready in the morning, feel good, have it, you know, everything in arms, arms reach and making sense around you. But yes, so the goal is to just make her run make more sense. That's really the design intent here. Um, so we're getting started with that today. We're not started because I already cleaned and organized and rearranged her run. But we're getting her bed up today. It is now December 23rd, um, two days before Christmas. We were supposed to have this bed on the 13th, but it got delayed because, you know, people said it was heavy and they've changed it to another FedEx facility and blah, blah, blah. But here we are now. December 23rd is being installed and it's gonna look great. Are you, are you coming for me? Yeah, she's coming for me. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. My mom is in the car too. Hi, mom. Hello. So I'm back and preparing for another busy weekend. Today we're making rounds, picking up some Christmas gifts, ingredients for this weekend. Um, so I'll take y'all with me to show y'all where we go. But this weekend I have, of course, finished gift wrapping. And then Friday night we have our just Friday night celebration where we do uh, gingerbread houses and big cookies for Santa and stuff like that. What? Is that tonight? No, that's tomorrow. Oh, the Saturday night. what I say? Friday night. I said Christmas night. I didn't say that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are days, right? <laughs> and then, so for that evening, I'm making a salmon Florentine. 
I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna make a salmon and collard green for a tea. So we're gonna see how that goes. I don't see it going wrong. So, um, and then for Sunday, which is Christmas day, we're doing brunch. So of course I have my handy dandy notebook. Um, so for Christmas brunch, we're of course doing, I'm, I wanted to do a couple of twists on like a traditional Christmas dinner. So like I still have some things in there, but like in a breakfasty type of way. So I'm doing ham still because it's Christmas. Um, I'm doing uh, goat cheese eggs, which are amazing. I made them the other morning. Um, our brother doesn't eat eggs, so he wasn't able to appreciate the experience. Um, but Maurice came home and he finished off those eggs and he said he don't even eat eggs. Most of the best eggs he ever had in his life. So I'm gonna run those back. Um, I'm doing roasted potatoes. I'm doing white and sweet potatoes with onions and you know like a hash um apple waffles because my mom slid into my comments and said if i don't make this she's just on to me or something i don't know how it went um, <laughs> um i'm making cinnamon french toast sticks i'm making a, a cheese cheesecake oat and cranberry parfait fruit salad brown turkey brown sugar turkey bacon which is like a play on turkey for uh, christmas We'll have rolls, cinnamon rolls, bagels, spinach. Well, this is a part of the veggie kind of combo. So spinach, blistered tomatoes, cucumbers, and red onion. I'm going to do some sausage and double eggs. So Layla, if another weekend goes by and I don't make those double eggs, she might run away. Um, but we are, going to, <laughs> we are going to head out. And I have three different targets to go to because I, I wanted my... Even though it's disposable, you know, I still had to set the vibe. I still wanted it to match. And not one Target had all three of the dinnerware that I need. So, um, Target, three of those. Um, Aldi's to pick up groceries. Whole Foods to pick up some filler things that Aldi's did not have. Um, Williams and Sonoma to pick up gifts. And then Nordstrom to pick up gifts. Um, so, we're about to head out. Indeed. Like, I'm trying to steal food. When did, it, when did people go into Outback to take food? I was like... <laughs> so, just went to the wrong uh, Whole Foods. Went to the one in Wynwood. Was supposed to be at the one in Plymouth Meeting. It's fine. It's still along my route. But um, went through a lot of trauma and stress. <laughs> just <laughs> being there, trying to get the food. I mean, I don't know what it is about the holiday season and entitlement. But, you know, the WT folks... I, I don't understand what's up with y'all. Like, y'all got this sense of entitlement and craziness during this time that I don't get. Somebody explain it to me. Hi. Good, how are you? It's a happy lobby in the snow. Oh, Jesus, it's cold. The mirror I'm getting for Layla's room. Good holiday. At, at Nordstrom's Cafe because my second Nordstrom order is not ready. I realized that I had two separate Nordstrom orders. <laughs> so I have to wait so I don't have to come back up here yeah. on Christmas Eve. Hi, Hi good. Yeah, we'll be right there. We're trying to kill time and hope that the order is ready by the time I absolutely get tired of traveling. So it's our last stop. We'll see how it goes. Yes. We'll see. Hmm. My lunchy cup of clam chowder with this cute little garlic bread on top. Like, look how cute that is. Come on, Nordstrom. Come on. Come on, y'all. This is cute. Oh. Oh. Look at how cute that is. The salmon couscous. That's cute. That's why it took so long. It was fresh. Are you ready? Yeah. Sorry for holding you up. <laughs> Still waiting on my order. We're still in the mall. <laughs> the last check was at 2.30. Mind you, we left the house at what, 9.15? Yep. It was at 2.30 and they told me about 30 minutes. So we're walking the mall. My mom is still spending money. And we'll check back in when we're on our way home, I guess. This episode of Men Don't Deserve. Look at these Basquiat shorts that I would definitely be buying because men don't deserve these. Look at this. Hey, everyone. Oh, excuse me. Hey, everyone.
everyone and good morning. It is the morning or late morning of December 24th, the day before Christmas, the day before the show starts. I am putting together some stuff for Layla's room. Layla and Maurice went to the mall to go pick up their order that was not ready. It was a whole thing. So yesterday, y'all saw that I was waiting for this order to be ready, the second order. Um, and I checked at 2.30 to see where they were with things. And the guy shows me his little scan thing. The guy shows me his little scan thing and it says two out of the four items have been picked. Two are still in process or progress. So to me, it felt like he was trying to communicate. They have two of the items, the other two they haven't found yet. So I'm like, okay. So he said, stick around for about 30 minutes and we'll, you know, no, no. So he said, stick around for 30 minutes. They said, it'll, it'll take about 30 minutes to get done. Okay, I stuck around for another hour or so. Still not done. So now I'm frustrated, I left. I was watching watching my email all evening um, because we had a happy hour and we changed the happy hour to be the KOP, but by like 7.38, they still hadn't put it up. And, and um, and pickup ended at 9, 9 p.m. So I'm like, there's no point in going up there. Let's just keep our happy hour at Rosa Mexicano and go there. Woke up this morning, still no notifications. I called the ladies, I called the store and see what's up. Um, but the store opened at 10 and Maurice was gonna be there by then, by then anyway. So he went up there and they had three out of the four items collected and you know packed. But one of the items that they originally said that they picked yesterday wasn't a part of the, you know, the order. So now I'm, I'm confused. I'm like, you had that picked. And that was a really, you know, big portion of somebody's gift. So that was kind of frustrating for me. And I got on the phone with the girl and I'm like, okay, number one, he showed me that it was picked. But picked doesn't mean they actually went and got it. It means they just picked it. I don't understand this, this process. And like, it just seems stupid and unnecessary unless she was lying. She said there was only one left in the store when they went to go get it. And I'm like, okay, but when he told me that they picked it, it was three on the shelf. I went upstairs and looked, it was three on the shelf. I'm confused. Anyway, however, we don't have the, we don't have the mug anymore. The mug is not a personalized gift. So they went up there to go collect the items that they could get. Um, they're gonna be doing some running around themselves. And while they're out, I'm gonna put together Layla's vanity, um, you know, table and desk her mirror, which is like a Hollywood dressing room style mirror with the big bulbs. I'm really hoping that there are bulbs included because I did not think about that. And then I'm gonna put together her chair and then hope that I get this done before she comes home. I'm hoping that this is like vanity top with the drawers already installed and then you just kind of add the, you know, the freaking legs on. I'm hoping it doesn't come in a million fucking pieces. Like, please, Lord, don't let this come in a million pieces. Please. I'm about to get started with this. Let's open this up and see what this is looking like. Also, both of the podcasts that I watch have new episodes, so I will be binging that while I put this together. I watch, um, what is this one? No For Sure with B. Simone and Megan Brooks. And I also watch uh, good moms, bad choices. So I'll be tuning into those and then hopefully I get this done. After this, I'm going to prep some food for tomorrow and tonight. Um, wrap the remaining gifts, of course, and then hopefully be able to relax by the time 8 p.m. rolls around. Um, I'm not sure if Maurice's mom and sister are coming over tonight. Our air mattress, which is a really good one, by the way, that thing is comfy. Our air mattress um, stopped working yesterday. I don't know what's up with it. The motor, something is going on with the motor. Um, so that's not working. So we don't really have somewhere for them to really rest comfortably because the, the plan is for me to set up Layla's room after she goes to sleep. So they will have to have slept out here, you know, with the air mattress and the sectional. Um, but without the air mattress, we really don't have enough room. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know what's going to happen. But the plan, like I said, go on Layla's room, set up, set up where her vanity is going to be, her chair, 
um, the stuff that's going underneath her bed, you know, lay out the gifts because I'm going to have wrapped gifts around her room so that she can find them, open them, um, and then have a happy child. Y'all, I think it might look like it comes together. Everybody pray. Everybody just start praying now, okay? Isn't that heavy as Oh, Jesus. Why, 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 why? Like, I don't understand that. Just pack, have the top part put, put together, wrap it so that it can be already put together. It is, stuff don't have to come like this. I don't I don't understand. I, I really don't understand companies. It don't have to come like this. It does not have to come like this. But you know what? I would rather be doing it now than later tonight when I'm freaking tired. And you know, don't feel like doing shit. How many instructions? How many fucking 14 steps, nigga? What the fuck? Freaking 14 steps. Like, take me off the goddamn Christmas spirit. Reese is like, don't buy any furniture without the expert assembly. I'm not, I don't wanna put nothing together. Just make it easy on yourself, buy the expert assembly. In my head, I'm like, this company seems to have some freaking sense. I had high hopes that this company had some sense and that they wouldn't make it so complicated, but why would I have high hopes? These companies are trash. We are all done. Got this all together, it took me about an hour and 45 minutes that's because i kept getting up to eat but listen i'm starving but everything is looking good i take these little bowlies out but everything is looking good i'm loving the look of it it's a good quality i'm gonna get her some doorknobs to put on it get the glass top to put on it to protect this top because the girl you know she's rough on her stuff but then the first thing I'm about to happen to in the mirror in the vanity chair. Okay, so the chair is in a few pieces. Doesn't look hard at all. Has these bolts on the end. I'm guessing that, you know. Can you untighten these? Okay, I might have lied. I don't know. I'm going to see if these can be. I think they can be loosened. I can see. Like on that side that maybe they can be loosened. But get these started and then run this in the room before Layla gets back get her mirror done run that in the room and then move on to I think I might do gift wrapping next just to get that out the way but we're moving along we have progress it's one o'clock now we're getting this popping the goal is 8 p.m wine and chill 8 p.m wine and chill got the chair done had to run it in here because Layla came in I didn't want her to see it but chair is done Desk is done and mirror will be done later on today. I'm going to hop into um, some wrapping so we can get that done on the front end of the day. Also, just laid out Layla's rug so I can get some of these sprinkles out by the time, you know, it's time to do her room tonight. But yes, rug laid out. We are all good. Okay, so now I am about to finish wrapping gifts. Maurice and Layla are in her room, organizing her room, getting her room prepped for her Christmas surprise. And yeah, got these boxes from Nordstrom, which if you don't know, you make a purchase, especially around this time, you get free boxes. So why not take advantage of free boxes? All these little furry-like things are gotta be two of my favorite gifts I'm getting this year. Not getting, but giving. This is a North Face like onesie. It's so comfy and fluffy. And it's like this deep green color. So pretty. This is going to my godson for a full body suit. He's already cute, but this is going to elevate that. And then I have this robe for my little cousin Cam. I can just so imagine him wearing this robe, man. It's so cute. So yeah, my two favorite. One thing that I love to do is to give like luxury food items as gifts. So these two, and this will be a set, which is Williams and Sonoma's Iris Cream and Caramel Macchiato Coffee Pods. This is for somebody that obviously has a pod machine for coffee. And then a small batch coffee cake. 
set. I mean, you know, flower. Um, but this will be one gift. And I think that's so cute to like give people something that they use normally and also something that they can make. And for, especially for those that love to cook and love to experiment, you know, gifting them with things that they can cre be creative with always works well. Always. And also like just honoring what they like to do and what their passions are, just like the person who likes to cook. Like my auntie, she loves tea. So I got her like this luxury tea blend from Williams and Sonoma. Um, it has like 50 bags in here, but it's a really good quality tea. Um, so like this is like a great idea for people who love tea, get a mug to go along with it, and then boom, happiness. You can see up here, Layla has started some wrapping of her own. <laughs> So, so this is from from for my for my cousin Cam. This is for my cousin Cole. This is for BJ. This is for Gigi. This one for Auntie K. This one for G Mom. It's not worthless. It's not worthless. It's a, it is worth something. You're it's giving it to me. Oh, okay, yeah. It's not worthless. I just wanted to pop on here and show y'all some good ideas for some stocking stuffers. But it became a family affair, which I love. Um, the first is this mini Gucci perfume and lipstick stocking stuffer. It's Gucci Bloom. And then um, St. Laurent. A lipstick kit. It's two lipsticks, it's two matte lipsticks in two different tones that comes in it. But these are two great ideas. People love Lux gifts. And also these go on deep discount during the holiday. So give people a good valuable gift for a cheaper price, right? We all love that, right? But great, great stocking stuff for ideas. So I'm done my wrapping. I'm complete my wrapping. I have a couple of things I need to wrap in bowls, but besides that, I'm done my wrapping. Um, I'm about to clear this off and put it underneath the tree and then get dinner started so that's ready. And then start prepping the food for tomorrow as well. So, you ready to get into this food? Dinner prep, dinner prep, dinner prep. The rest of the gifts are loaded. Moving on to the next thing. Alright, I'm about to start prepping for dinner. Prep the greens and salmon, Florentine. And then move on to prepping the stuff for tomorrow's brunch. Why are you looking at me? Get excited when you cook. I cook for a special occasion. What is, what is your favorite thing that I cook? What? What's your favorite thing that I cook? Stop here. Why? Because everything is good. But if I can go through some of the things that come to mind. Sweet potato pie, anything potato, yams. I feel like a black grandmother, I'm like getting the potatoes down. Grandma's got the potatoes down. You got the potatoes. But I love your, your cabbage. Cabbage is good because she makes the cabbage with the greens. Mm. You know where I got that from? Where? My name is Aunt Gail. Mm. Mm -hmm. She told me that she did that. I could never turn back. Yeah. I was like, excuse me? People are doing this? Out on these Thanksgiving streets? Never turn back. Changed my life. Changed my I have it onions and garlic, put them down with some oil and butter, and then I just have some shrimp shells cooking in here as well, and my, of course, my mesh strainer, um, just to put the flavor into these onions and garlic before the greens come in here. This is like really similar to putting meth, meth bones and greens and things like that, but since my pasta is going to be a seafood pasta with salmon, I want to get that flavor of shrimp into these greens. I thought that that might balance out the, the pasta really, really well. So I'm so excited about that. I'm also gonna pour me a cuppy of the rest of the wine. So I love this wine, it's so good. 
I also had to rewrite my menu because I left my book in the car. I literally had to listen to my video to see what I was making. <laughs> yep, have fun. Wow, I'm losing a lot left. About to get this fruit salad together. Just a quick fruit salad. I'm upset because my raspberries are going bad. What the heck is up with that? Layla's upset because she can't eat my grapes. Now, yes, I'll give you one. Here, open your mouth. <laughs> Let's see. This is a really big grape. Open your mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Apple slice for the apple brown sugar cinnamon waffles. I'm about to cook these down and then store them until tomorrow. Just finishing up my last thing that I'm prepping for tonight, which is the apples for the apple cinnamon waffles. And then we're about to get into this family Christmas Eve night. Let's go. We got yeah. gingerbread. That gingerbread cookies for some raw waffles. But if you want to see our festivities in like deeper detail, hop over to the Happy Family Happy Life channel and you'll see what we're doing tonight. But then right after this clip, I'll give you a little preview of what we did, but I'm gonna jump into you know the setup for a particular place in our home. Additional terms apply. Visit Citadel. I'm gonna watch it. So we're about to have dinner. It's about to be a situation. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, it is now nine o'clock. I know I said I was gonna be whining and chilling by eight o'clock, but the family had just left at like eight thirty. Um, we had a good night, made ginger, a uh, gingerbread target house, which is fun. And yeah, just had a bunch of fun. But now we're about to start Layla's room now, which is just placing the stuff at this point. Um, because everything is kind of together. It's just placing. So I'll show you how it goes. Her table and chair are in. Daddy's just bringing in her mirror that's going to go on her desk. So excited. Then we can set up her accessories and stuff like that. Daddy, I thought that um, this desk was gonna come like with the top put together. Now we just have to add the legs on. Yeah. That's all left together, right? <laughs> the little mirror is cute. It's very cute. We gotta find a way to trace a uh, extension cord along here to put it here because there's no outlet on this wall. That's fun. Vanity area is done and set with her gifts. All vanity related gifts over Show here. The oh yeah, so fun. Hey. hey. And then you got the little different settings. Oh. 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 <laughs> then you can dim it. Oh, oh it goes one. up. Yeah. Oh shoot. So that could turn it back down. Here we go. Hey. There we go. Cute. So, vanity and vanity related gifts over here. Got a little rug layering going on. Tie dye rug looking all cute and whatnot. Then we got her new mirror over here. Hey guys, mom is in the house. Then, of course, her bed is a, one of her gifts. And then we have some kind of desk related gifts over here. So I'm excited. we are very excited for her to open this stuff up and come in here. She opened this gift tonight. 
It's a That Girl Lele sweatsuit. Always positive, as That Girl Lele is. Hey, Daddy. What's up? So, we're shutting it down because we're done. Yeah, man, she's going to love it. She she's is. It. She's really coming into this age of, like, fashion and knowing how she wants to dress and picking out her own outfits and even lip glosses and earrings. Mm -hmm. So this is really and, fitting who she's becoming. And she's a better makeup artist than me. I don't know how that happened, when that happened, but it she happened. To explore. It happened. So I'm really excited to give her a space to really be comfortable and get ready and have good energy in. So we're excited. She has a couple of um, stocking stuffers too, catered to that. She's a really big stone girl, really big rocking stone girl. So I got her some clarity and hope stones. <laughs> um, hopefully that brings her some more good energy. It will bring her some more good energy. I know it would. It's crazy because I can see her inviting her friends over mm -hmm. and doing their hair. For sure. And nails and stuff. Like taking appointments. Like why is somebody in my home? Right. <laughs> Why is somebody in my home? That I didn't know about. That I didn't know about. You're just making appointments in your room? I can see her turning this into a little salon. For real, man. Like, I'm busy all weekend. Seriously. Like, <laughs> y'all go then, ahead. But the thing about it is she sold this girl, but then she's also sold this girl. What's that? The court. Oh, yeah. Like, she's just such... And don't forget the mats. I know. She's going to be this girl for life. That's a tennis bracket right here. I know, like, she's a sports girl, also a fashion girl. And I appreciate that about her balance. So we're going to shut it down for tonight. Um, I'll check back in with y'all in the morning when I'm, like, cooking for brunch and show y'all how her reaction is briefly. If you are not subscribed to the Happy Family, Happy Life channel, although, you may not see it all. So get subscribed to that one, too. So you can see her reaction and walking through and opening up her gifts and things like that. But we'll check it in the morning. Good night. Santa was here, baby. Finally about to relax. It is 9.45 and get into the myth, the best man. Actually had to run this back, okay? I had to run it back. Grandpa, you ready to get into this room? Daddy, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. Let's, let's get into it. Who's ready? I'm ready. You ready? breakfast we're gonna make her some eggs and bacon and things like that um but for me i need to prepare this morning the goat cheese eggs ham the, the roasted potatoes the apple waffles this the cinnamon raisin french toast bake the cheesecake oat and cranberry parfaits um, the cinnamon roll and the cinnamon rolls, bagels, spinach, red onion, cucumber, and blistered potatoes, which are just kind of with the red onion and cucumbers. I'm just slicing those with the spinach and blistered tomatoes. It's pretty easy. Sausage is a, a quick sear on the cast iron. Devil eggs, they've already boiled last night. I just got to mix them through and fill them in. Fruit salad is made and brown sugar turkey goes in the oven. So I'm going to hop into this so I am not, you know, running super behind this morning. 
potato hash is starting. Princess's brown sugar in the bacon and doing an amazing job, may I add? Good job, Pooh. You're looking like a beautiful princess and doing the process too. Rosie's special Christmas breakfast. Come on, Rosie girl. Come on. Ready to eat? Ready to eat? Yay! We're about to get dressed, everybody. Well, some people are here, but food is done now. It is 11.40, but it is done and everybody can eat. Hey, Pope. The greatest assistant and sous chef there is. Hmm? I just want to talk about the unfair uh, you know, treatment. Uh, how I was really good today. That's uh, not fair. You said what? I was really good today. Are you serious? I can revert. Come on, hurry up, get out the kitchen, get that stuff, and go get dressed. I did, I did a good all day today. He, wow, you don't get credit for nothing, no growth. If you can see me through my dirty mirror and horrible closet, I'm going with a brown theme for today. Stick with my brown tree, brown clothes, brown is beautiful, black is beautiful. That's the theme for today. This is how I Hold it, hold it. Yeah. Yeah. I want it good.